Welcome back. We're going to take a look at profiling, which means testing how long everything takes to run. You might want to do this if you want to try two different ways to do your function and see which of the ways is quicker. Sometimes you need speed. We're going to try three ways of accessing an item in a sequence like this. We're going to do it by wrapping a try around it. Try. If there is no data of index, we'll get an index error. And then I return a none. Here's going to be a test way. I saw this in a talk, a Python talk, when I was fairly new. I was very impressed, thinking that the data must know its length, that it could report it so quickly that this brilliant fellow would do it twice. So if the index is less than minus the length of the data, the number of items, or if the index is greater than the length of the data, minus one, then that's no good. There's no datum there, and we will return a none. Otherwise, we will return what is that data index. Being an old C person, I thought that it was wasteful to take len twice, or maybe I'm wrong. So we'll do it another time where we take len just once, and we remember it. And otherwise, it's the same algorithm, just to compare the different times. Now then, the answer varies slightly depending on how many times you call your function and the index that you send in is not a good index. There is no datum there. So we're going to look at a function, but not very much, test percent wrong. So I calculated how if the percent wrong came in and we're going to do 10,000 trials, then I want to do it that percent wrong. But in the end, we see what I'm doing is we're going to do the try way, the test way, and the test way too, all exactly the same number of times. So you might want to check my algorithm to make sure I'm doing what I think I'm doing. But here, we're just going to, in our main, for 0.1 and 0.01, we're going to call the C profile. That's what we imported. And we're going to say run. And you give it a string, just like exec. It'll execute that. So we're going to do those two different percents. And what it, C profile does is it gives a report. I do want to point out that in my test percent wrong, I did an assert. And assert checks that what you're saying is true, otherwise it raises an error. And so I just wanted to be sure that I had a handle on my algorithm there. The important thing in this line is the word assert. We'll look at that more carefully in the end. But this is a keyword for developers because if this program was to be optimized at all, the first optimization is that the assert statements go out. So this is for the developer while she's developing to make sure she's doing what she thinks she's doing, like getting the right percent wrong. OK, so we have that line to run it. We come down here and we see all this output. Well, here we see a test way, a test way two, and a try way. So the try way is the one that has a try except. The test way is one with two lens in it, and the test way two has only one. So looking at the test way, we're going to look at the cumulative time. That's how total time that it's spent in that function test way. And here we see 0.628. And if we take it only once, we have whittled it down to 0.4. 37, but if we use the try except, it's much faster. So it's good to know that the try except mechanism in Python is very fast. Down here, 
when we are doing it 1% wrong, which is a lot of times wrong, we'll see that the test way is about a little bit faster. <laughs> and this is a little tiny bit faster than the old one. And the try way, though, is a little bit faster as well. So it doesn't make that much difference. I do like to point out that it's very easy to make a mistake and not do what you think you're doing when you do the profiling. If it doesn't make sense, you might have to take another thought and make sure that you haven't put some of the work into a sub-process or ask the operating system some or ask the operating system in some other way to do some of the work because then that will not be counted. Okay, you have a little exercise to do. I'll see you when you're ready to move on.